Hey guys, welcome back. So let's continue. And what we want to do now is we want to deform these points to match the ocean surface. And right now, as you can see, they are flat. And we had the issue where if we were to apply deformation everywhere with the ocean, it's going to deform everything uh, that we don't want. So we need to generate the mask. And unfortunately, these foam points, they don't have any interesting information for us to create the mask. And what we're going to rely on is the original flip sim. And let me find the cache. So this is the flip sim and the original one, not, not the mesh the cache from the uh, flip solver. So here we have the points and we have the two fields and that's what I need. I need the velocity field. And I'm gonna isolate that. So at name equal val. And I'm gonna delete non selected. And let's create an object merge and copy this. And let's go to the let's do it here let's do it on the flip mesh so it's easier to see and then we'll reapply the same thing to the foam so we're going to use we're going to create the visualizer here so let's import the val field and i'm going to compute the uh, the magnitude of the velocity using a vdb analysis so we'll compute the length and then we're going to compute the curl of the uh, velocity field and then compute the length of that and this is going to give us a uh, the vorticity of the sim and let's uh, I'm gonna copy the volume vops this is similar to what we've done I believe in week three so this volume vop is going to simply remap and importing the velocity field and remapping it between 0.75 and 1.5 and then I'm going to copy this uh, a different remap for the vorticity and this is the mask that we yeah I think week three week four to that we use to create the meshing and let's do a VDB combine and combine both fields and and I'm going to create a point vop Plug this in here. Okay, and let's dive inside. I'm gonna use a volume sample. And the sample position is the current position, and the file name is op input two. I'm gonna connect that into the color. And there we go. So now we have the points sampling that velocity field and vorticity field, and this is the mask that we want. So we're going to do the same thing with the foam. Okay, let's uh, create an object merge here, and let's go to the foam render, and let's paste the node. And actually, let's copy the this too. So now we have we have this mask as well. Okay, so the next thing, so the next thing we want to do is to also apply the boundaries flattening technique that we did with the mesh. We need to do this, we need to do the same thing for the foam because it can get uh, all, the, it can reach the boundaries and we did flatten the edges in week four to get proper matching at the at the boundaries so we can easily blend this and i'm going to copy the uh this the same network from previous week and let's do this so this is the sim area and then we clipped uh, a polygon and then we're going to attribute transfer white to the sim so let's do let's set it black here and now we're transferring here from the boundaries onto the mesh and we're going to flatten these parts because we're gonna we need them to be flat to merge nicely with the ocean after we apply our ocean deformation so that's uh, a mask we need
and I'm gonna we did the flattening using a point vop last week I'm gonna do it using a wrangle node this time much simpler I'm just going to multiply the position uh, dot y where there is color and just fit that to be uh, to go in the zero range or this range basically and that's pretty much it I'm gonna delete the attributes the color primarily and now we're gonna apply once we have the flattening we're gonna apply the ocean deformation so we have the mask and we don't want to apply the ocean deformation where we have high velocity and high vorticity so let's invert this because we wanna we want the invert so we're going to apply the ocean everywhere else except these areas and with the splash we don't want to deform anything that is too high we just want to deform or ocean match anything that is Cl uh, close to the ocean so we can create this mask by using the the height of the points and let's connect the y position and I'm gonna use a fit range between 0 and 5 and let's invert this so anything below this we're going to apply an ocean deformation to it we can remove this if we wanted to but it's not going to make a huge difference and that's that's it for the mask these two is what we need so let's multiply them and that's our ocean mask and let's uh Let's create, let's copy one node from the shader, which is this one. So I'm going to copy the ocean layer. Uh, we don't have to copy it. Uh, no need. So I'm just going to copy the path. And let's go here and let's dive inside. And I'm going to create an ocean sample layer. And the position, the sample position is this. I'm going to promote the file name. And I'm going to add the displacement. I don't need any transformation here because everything is in the correct space. So let's apply the ocean. And it's sampling now. The map is uh, is high res, I think. That's why it's taking some time. And we have a lot of points as well. So let's wait. Okay. It's working, but I canceled because it's taking some time. And I'm going to lower uh, the anti-alias blur. I don't need that in here. And let me check one thing. I'm going to set the down sample to one so it doesn't read the full, the high res, uh, uh, the high res map. It basically down samples it so it's faster to work with. And let's turn on back cooking and it should be faster now. Yeah. So this is with and this is without. Let me turn off. Let's leave the color for now. It's fine. So you can see it's applying deformation and then all we have to do is multiply the displacement by the mask and let's check this this is before, this is after. Before and after. 
and let me check the fit range in case there is a mask that we need to invert uh, this is all good okay so now I'm gonna save the foam or I don't have to save it but uh, I mean when you're working on a project it's better to save this to disk so you you don't have to recompute this every frame and I'm gonna go to the out context include the ocean the a fluid mesh and the ocean base in the render and the render setting I'm gonna lower this to 0.5 so it's faster I'm gonna leave everything to the default and I'm going to move up the phone just a tiny bit uh, in case there is some overlap and this is gonna just make sure that we see all the points and let's hit render we'll continue in the next video thank you guys for watching and see you in a bit